Hey, welcome back. It's glad to see you. Well, actually, you see me. Let's get to the important stuff. Recently, GM engineering and development team for the C8 Corvette hosted a slideshow that was essentially a very deep dive into the LT6 Z06 engine. They went through all the details of development, reasoning, mission, and mechanical details of this absolutely incredible engine. They left no stone unturned in development, and they present that all here in this slideshow. I was able to compile all these slides together and present them to you here. And I'll go through, point out some of the highlights. There's a whole lot here. There's a lot to learn, and it is super interesting. So pay attention and enjoy the video. We start with a quick review of the design and engineering team's objective for the engine. They set out to develop an engine that would be bespoke and exotic with high output, but yet still distinctly Corvette. The priorities being naturally aspirated power for consistent track performance lap after lap. Unique character that tantalizes all of the driver's senses. They wanted the driver to experience this engine on all levels. Exhilarating performance must be thrilling in every sense. This was the highest priority. Thrilling as in fun and exciting, and maybe even a little scary. They started from a clean sheet and benchmarked the best competitive engines out there. Not just copying any one best design, but pulling from all the best and improving upon them. What did they produce? The world's most powerfully, naturally aspirated V8 in a production car. Quite an accomplishment. A 5.5 liter engine that provides low end torque and exhilarating power. Exhilarating. Words like this appear over and over throughout this presentation. A flat plane crank to maximize efficiency and power delivery. An extension lubrication system. Exhilarating performance and small block DNA. They required exhilarating engine sound. Engineers spent months dialing in the perfect audio profiles of the induction and exhaust systems. See, exhilarating appears three times on this one page alone. A fantastic 8600 RPM redline. Here is the official SAE torque and power curve readout. You can see that the linear power curve doesn't peak until 8400 RPMs. This means that you will be increasing power output all the way to nearly redline. The torque curve peaks at about 6300 RPMs. Both are very impressive numbers. This engine produces 670 horsepower at 8,400 RPMs and 4,600 pound-feet of torque at 6,300 RPMs. It features a lightweight, low inertia crank. This enables fast revving all the way to redline. This engine is only two pounds heavier than the LT2 engine in the C8 Stingray, but yet it produces 175 horsepower more. It is also 28 pounds lighter than the LT4 engine of the 2015 Z06, here are some of the key systems that define the LT6. The lightweight, low inertia flat plane crank paired with a short stroke of just 80 millimeters. These two combine to enable a very rapid engine acceleration and high engine speeds. These high engine speeds require an advanced racing inspired seven stage dry sump lubrication system. The highly tuned induction system achieves a volumetric efficiency of over 110%. The valve train is lightweight and rigid to match the high speed and quick revving of the crank train. The cylinder heads have high flowing and fully CNC ported intake and combustion chambers. Lightweight and efficient are key factors that are repeated over and over through every aspect of the LT6. Each engine is hand built by a single highly trained and skilled individual. And then upon completion, they sign a plaque and place it on the top of the engine. Each LT6 is dyno tested under full load and high speed for 20 minutes to ensure quality. You can see that design of the LT6 began many years ago. In 2015, the first prototypes were being built. Then last March of 2021, production build exercises were being executed. The LT6 and the LT6R in the C8R race car are virtually twins. They were designed in tandem with each other. They both share the same design foundation. They have several shared design elements, including the cylinder block and heads, the valve train, and the fuel system. There are a few minor differences. The LT6R is packaged differently so as to fit in the race car. And the LT6R has some balance of power adjustments to adhere to the IMSA GT3 class requirements. This basically means it has reduced power 
from the production LT6. Well, that is the overview. Now we will get into more detail. Everything is all new and greatly enhanced. Let's start with the block and crankcase. Both are now all aluminum. Each are leak tested and flow tested, then partially machined before they are bolted together to create a full block assembly that is then finished machined and serialized as a match set. They then are mated for life and there will be no mix and match thereafter. Here is a comparison of the LT6 block to the LT2 block. You can pause the video if you like to review the numbers. The LT6 features a shorter deck height than the LT2. This is enabled by the 12mm shorter stroke, the lightweight short compression height pistons, titanium rods, and smaller crankshaft counterweight radii. The LT6 block features a lower crankcase with sealed bay dry sump. The LT2 has an oil pan and an open bay dry sump. The LT6 design allows for more efficient oil scavenging. The LT6 has four individually sealed crank bays with solid bulkheads connected to the floor of the lower crankcase. During development, the curved bottom of the lower crankcase of the LT6 was moved three millimeters closer to the counterweights to improve crank bay oil scavenging. The cylinder heads feature dual overhead cams. The port designs and valve position create high tumble of the air charge as it mixes with the fuel. This results in a highly efficient blending of the air-fuel mixture. The full combustion chamber and intake port are CNC machined for consistent and optimized airflow and combustion. Each combustion chamber is laser scanned for imperfections to ensure consistency. The cylinder bores and crank bores are deck plate bored and honed. This follows the best practices from the racing world. By using aluminum deck plates to simulate the cylinder heads during final bore and honing, the negative effects of head assembly related to bore distortions are eliminated. This results in rounder, truer cylinder bores and crank bores, better piston ring sealing and piston fits, reduced blow-by and friction and optimum performance. The pistons have forged titanium connecting rods that are 43% lighter than the LT4 rods and 27% lighter than the LS7 rods. The forged aluminum pistons are from a racing piston supplier are lightweight and high strength. They have a short height, they are 18% lighter than the LT4 pistons and 8% lighter than the LS7 pistons. The center mass of gravity is centered both side to side and front to rear to reduce piston rocking from the inertia. And they have specific designs for the right hand and left hand sides. The crankshaft is a lightweight, low inertia, flat plane crankshaft. It has forged steel construction that is 33% lighter than the LT2's crankshaft. It has a short stroke that enables very rapid engine acceleration and high engine speeds. The even firing from bank to bank creates balanced air and exhaust flow and helps produce the LT6 unique sound. Also, it has a viscous torsional damper to further reduce torsional inertia. The lubrication system is a racing derived dry sump oiling system. The all new lube system architecture is focused on low engine friction and is track capable under all conditions. It has a seven stage oil pump, individually sealed crank base, continuously variable closed loop feedback oil pressure control, and a bottom mounted oil cooler that has 85% more cooling capacity than the C7 Z06 LT4 engine. The valve train is a performance inspired mechanical valve train system. It has minimized moving mass for lightweight, rigid design and stable, precise, dynamic high speed actuation. The mechanical lash is precision measured and set. Each of the 32 locations is individually measured and a select fit high grade steel lash cap is precisely robotically installed. There is no maintenance interval required. The follow fingers are highly polished with a diamond like carbon coating and made of metal injected molded hardened steel. Each finger has an integrated oil jet for targeted lubrication. The LT6 features dual overhead cams with four valves per cylinder, 45 millimeter lightweight titanium intake valves, 35 millimeter dual hollow cavity sodium filled nitride steel exhaust valves and dual coil valve springs. The intake manifold is made up of dual 87 millimeter throttle box, a proven progressive bore design for maximum airflow control, an electronic control with single nibble transmission SENT positional feedback designed to deliver metered air needs for each of the four cylinder banks. There was a unique program focus to mitigate vibrational load the throttle body and the DC motor. Each bank has an extended rudder for optimal torque. Each bell mouth or horn has a unique design for maximum airflow 
and to minimize imbalance to each cylinder and at all engine speeds from low to high. There is increased plenum volume to ensure proper airflow margin to achieve peak power and torque targets. Between the two intake plenums are triple 72 mm intake tuning valves. These improve torque and power across the engine RPM band. They are electronically controlled with the SENT positional feedback, optimizing tuning for each driver mode. The unique program focus was to control development towards peak power and torque while managing stability and cabin acoustics. Since the intake sits directly behind the driver, they wanted to make sure that everything sounded just right. The LT6 injection fuel system has a typical operating range of 10 to 35 MPA, or 1450 to 5076 PSI. This enables more efficient use of delivered fuel, resulting in increased torque and power. This system has 75% more pressure than both the LT2 and LT4 engines. This fuel system features a unique exhaust side injection. This is the first GM production application with exhaust side direct injection. This optimizes combustion efficiency to raise the compression ratio to meet the peak power requirements. This is borrowed from IndyCar racing. The C8 Z06 muffler utilizes a unique exhaust architecture which accentuates the flat plane crank engine dynamics resulting in exceptional sound quality. The sound quality pipes are larger in diameter, high flow, and produce much less back pressure. The flow is controlled using a variable position exhaust valves with patented control software. This is the first ever use of continually variable, not by, valves which allows for custom tuning in two degree increments for varying position within each drive mode. So you will not just have the option of open or closed, there will be a number of valve positions available. This exhaust system has 21% less back pressure than the C706 exhaust and is 20 pounds lighter than the LT2 NPP exhaust, a 25% reduction. The Z06 has a greatly increased engine cooling capability, 50% increase in cooling capacity over the Stingray Z51. It has 50% more powerful front fans and 20% more airflow from the bigger side scoops. It features a track prep removable aero and license plate panel that increases the center radiator grill opening by over 75%. It also has a new coolant plumbing system to enable extreme engine RPMs and coolant flows. There should be no problems with this engine overheating under aggressive use. And here are some of the LT6 engine characteristics and goals. The designers wanted it to be visceral. They wanted the engine to bark during startups. They wanted an aggressive sound character during shifts, meaning pops and crackles. It needed to be responsive. They wanted neutral revs during the double paddle declutch. It must be driver centric, must have driver mode customization and manual launch and custom lock control. You can see that even after all the series performance, efficiency, and durability development, the engineers were still focused on the experience of the driver and that the experience needs to be emotional and fun. Time will tell if they met these goals. Well, you can't say I didn't warn you. Now that was a lot of details. And was it super interesting or not? Let me know in the comment section below. If you'd like to see more videos regarding the Z06, I'll put a link right over here in the description. I really appreciate you watching. I hope you had a good time. Until next time, this is Tim. See ya!